What is earnest money and how much should you expect to put down when you go to buy your next home? Hi, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and this is a very confusing subject because a lot of buyers, 47% of people are first time home buyers, don't even know what earnest money is and what is it good for and why does it even exist? And if you bought a home in the past, it's probably, it's changed quite a bit in terms of how much you would expect to put down. And so I'm going to tell you these two answers on this video. First off, earnest money is the consideration for the contract. So as a buyer, you're making an offer to a seller on an agreement. And in consideration for your performance of those items, you're going to put earnest money down. It's kind of like, hey, I'm going to buy someone's car. So there's a used car and I like the car. And But the buyer, the seller, I mean, has like four other people that want that car really bad. So, but you got to go and get the money out of the bank. So you're going to give them $500 to hold it, right? So you're giving them $500 to hold it, subject to you going to the bank and getting all the money and then fulfilling the agreement. That's what it is with the, with the house. So you want to buy the house, but first you got to get the money from the bank, the, the lending. And until that happens, you're going to keep a certain amount of money in the bank, right? And if you don't get that money out of the bank and you can't perform, the seller gets to keep the money. It's consideration. Does that make sense? So when you go to buy your home, what we tell our clients, and there's no industry standard at all, but what the advice we give our clients is you want to put down 1% of the purchase price. So if the purchase price of the home is $500,000, your earnest money would be $5,000. Now that isn't a cost. That's not going away. That, that's not vanishing in thin air. You get that money. That money goes towards your down payment when you close. But if you don't perform or you back out of the deal without a contingency in place, the seller retains that money because they took the home off the marketplace, right? So they gave up on all these other options for you to do what you said you're going to do. And that's what earnest money is all about. Now, here's the thing. You can have contingencies. So you can make an offer on someone's house subject to you doing a home inspection, just like the analogy with the car. I make an offer on the car. We agree on a price, but I want to get my mechanic to look at it first. I'm going to put $500 down. So he holds it and doesn't sell it to, you know, the other people that want it on Craigslist. I'm going to have my mechanic look at it. If I don't like what the mechanic says, I get my $500 back. Same thing with the house. You make an offer, $5,000, you get a home inspection, and if you don't like the home inspection, you get your money back. So that's what earnest money is all about. It's not scary, and it's we recommend 1%, but it can be as low as 500. It can be as low as a dollar. You have any questions, reach out to us. We'd be happy to help.